Hello! Ryan and I literally just got back from Georgia. We landed maybe an hour ago and we're back home. We've unpacked our suitcases. And so I'm starting another video here. So if you haven't watched my Georgia vlog of us going back home, go ahead and watch it. It's a fun one, visiting friends and family. But I wanted to start up another video when we got home because I wanted to do a big grocery haul, gluten-free, dairy-free, of course. So we might go to the grocery store tonight and get some stuff for like breakfast tomorrow. So I wanted to go ahead and start my video so I could show you you know anything we get tonight but I think we also have some packages waiting for me so I'm going to do a little unboxing as well so this video is just going to be a couple things like that post trip and I hope you enjoy all right we've got lots of packages first one this is all of my protein powder so I am an affiliate with Equip Protein Powder, or Equip Foods is the brand. And I did not know this, but on your birthday, they give you 50% off, and you can have up to seven items in your cart for the 50% off to work. And so I ordered seven bags of protein powder, and I have stocked up for the next seven months. So I got their iced coffee flavor is new, so I've been dying to try this one out. I'm very excited about this one. I got their vanilla. I've actually never tried their vanilla because I like their chocolate so much. So I typically get the chocolate one, but I'm excited to try out the vanilla. And then the rest is all chocolate. So I got four bags of the chocolate prime protein powder. You can use my code be restored nutrition for 15% off. But I always leave all my discount codes in the description box below. So you can also check there if you want to get any prime protein. But I love Equips protein powder because the chocolate one is only three ingredients. So it's just your beef isolate powder, cocoa powder, and stevia. Such good ingredients, but I got seven bags of protein. So that's package number one. My next package is all of my supplements. So I have talked about this before that I have some symptoms that I think are hormone related because they kind of pop up around my cycle. And so I shared a few weeks ago all the things that I was gonna be implementing. I think it was my get ready with me video and I shared like what I do for my health. But so far, I think what I've been doing has been helping. I don't want to jinx it and I want to give it enough cycles to really know for sure if what I'm doing is helping. But I think what I've been taking has been helping. And of course I ran out of like all of these right before we went to Georgia. So I haven't been taking them for like a week and a half and I'm hoping that that doesn't mess up my progress. But what I got for supplements is I got some more adrenal cocktail from Jigsaw Help. I also have a discount code with Jigsaw Help. I leave all my discount codes in the description box below, but adrenal cocktail, I've been taking this every single day. And then I restocked on my multivitamin. And then I also restocked on this GI Restore Powder. So this has a ton of ingredients that help strengthen your intestinal lining, soothe the intestinal lining and your gut health and your overall digestion is so important for overall health. So I put this in my protein powder. So when I have protein shakes, this is a powder form. So I just mix it in with my protein powder. And then lastly, I restocked on my magnesium that I've been taking every night. So this is called Mag Soothe, and it is also from Jigsaw Help. This adrenal cocktail, the magnesium, and then all of my electrolytes are from Jigsaw Help. So that's my second package. Okay, my third package is actually something for my business. So I had some business cards printed up as well as some like rack cards. So kind of like a brochure, but it's only one-sided. It's not like a trifold. So I got some of those printed. And if you're new around here, Be Restored Nutrition, which is typically the discount code that I use for everything. Be Restored Nutrition is my nutritional therapy business. So if you're ever interested in nutritional therapy, I will leave all of that stuff below as well. My website and all that, but this package is business stuff. And not gonna lie, I'm a little bit nervous. I hope it all looks good. <laughs> business card, Be Restored Nutrition. And then we have rack cards. 
All right, there's my little rack cards. These actually turned out really good too. I went with like the same general theme when I was designing these. So I used this like dark, this like greenish, bluish, dark green color on a lot of my branding and my website and stuff. So my business card was this like half and half. So I just kind of did a similar theme where it's half and half like white and green. And I was really nervous. I put my, um, I did put like my photo here with like Bethany McEnany, nutritional therapist. And I was hoping that it would print my face well. I was kind of nervous about that, but that looks really good. And it turned out good. The pictures look good. That was like what I was a little bit nervous about, but it all turned out well. So that's good. So my next package and last package is actually an exchange from Lulu's. So I think I did a haul like a try on haul and I showed you guys a lot of the clothes I've been getting lately for like spring and summer and one of the items was a pair of like linen pants and then black linen pants but the last pair that I got for some reason the beige pants fit really well and then the black ones were like way longer but they were the same size so I sent in for an exchange so I'm hoping that these actually fit normal and fit the way that the beige linen pants fit that I have. I don't know if any of that made sense, but basically these are just some, some black linen pants and I just exchanged them, hoping that they would fit better than the pair that I got the first time. So hopefully these fit, but that's it for all my, my packages post trip. I think that we're gonna go get dinner, probably something very quick and easy and chill. And then I also will probably run over to Sprouts and get like eggs, yogurt, just sausage, things like that, orange juice, some stuff for breakfast tomorrow, like bare minimum. So I'm gonna take you guys along. Okay, I just placed an order for us to go pick up kava for dinner. And then we're gonna swing by Sprouts and grab just the food we need for breakfast tomorrow, but I kind of have a headache, probably just from traveling, also probably a little bit dehydrated. So I'm going to make some electrolytes. So these are from Jigsaw Health as well. This is their pickleball cocktail, the blue raspberry flavor, but they're just electrolytes. It's an electrolyte powder. So I'm going to make myself some electrolytes and then we'll probably get in the car and go pick up kava and then we're gonna go to the grocery store. Okay, we're back from Sprouts. So I'm gonna do a quick little grocery haul. And then tomorrow when I go to Kroger, I'll show you all those things too. But I got two dozen eggs. I got some gluten-free bread. So this is from Little Northern Bakehouse. This is their sprouted seven grain. And then Ryan, he gets normal stuff, but I got him some bagels, orange juice. I got this big thing of sausage. I also got a thing of bacon. I got two packs of Siete cassava flour tortillas for one of the dinners I'm gonna do this week. And then I got some of my favorite, y'all know, Coco June dairy-free yogurt for me. And then Ryan gets the Siggy's brand, this one. So I got that for one, that one for Ryan. And then we also need some mayonnaise. So I got Chosen Foods, avocado oil, classic mayonnaise. So a lot of mayonnaises have inflammatory oils like uh, soybean oil or like canola oil as their primary ingredient. But this one still uses like your eggs, but it uses avocado oil for the oil that goes in this one. And avocado oil is a lot better for you. So I like to get the Chosen Foods brand for mayonnaise, but that's it. That's our little haul. So we picked up kava and I'm gonna put all this in the fridge and then we're gonna eat some dinner and then I will probably see you guys tomorrow. Oh, and don't forget, I got an Olipop. I was eyeing this out of the corner of my eye when I went to go grab this bread and I saw that this was the last one and Ryan knowing me very well he like went to go pick this up without me asking him to and he like walked over and grabbed it and he's like this was the last one and i was like i know i saw that i was like thanks for getting this for me but i was craving one of these so i'm gonna drink this with my dinner but i will see you guys in the morning Good morning! 
I'm in the parking lot of Target. Today's Wednesday and Ryan and I have married small group on Wednesdays and typically we'll eat dinner at like whoever's house. So we're doing like burgers tonight and our friends are providing the burgers. So I don't need to make dinner tonight. And so I really only did a Kroger order for dinner for like Thursday, Friday. Normally Ryan and I go out to dinner for date night on Saturday nights. So I'm at Target to get Olipops because we're going to bring Olipops to dinner to our small group tonight. That's our contribution. So I'm going to go into Target and get a couple four packs of Olipops. I told Ryan this morning, I was like, you know, honestly, what a blessing that our small group likes Olipops. Um, and I freaking love Olipop. So I'm going in, Ryan and I are bringing the drinks tonight for dinner. And then I'm gonna go pick up my Kroger order. And then I'm gonna swing by Sprouts because Sprouts has gluten-free burger buns that I really like. So I'm kind of going to all the places this morning and I'll show you everything I got when I get home. All right, who's ready for a grocery haul? Starting off with Target. I just got a ton of Olipops for tonight. So I got one of the four packs of the Cherry Coke. Then I got four of the cream soda ones. They didn't necessarily have a four pack of them, so I just got four. And then I got two of like the vintage cola. I got some Siete chips at Sprouts. And then these are the gluten-free buns that I normally get for hamburger buns. So this Millet and Chia, it's the same brand as my gluten-free bread. So Little Northern Fake House is the brand. So I normally get these for hamburgers and I normally stick them in the toaster and I like warm them up a little bit and they're really nice. They taste really good. I got some pepperonis, some Applegate pepperonis for pizza. I always keep frozen pizza on hand just in case if you ever need like a quick dinner. With that, I got Kali Power crusts and I already have some pizza sauce. So I just needed the crust and the pepperoni. I got Ryan some sandwich bread, got some apples. I got some chicken, just like three chicken breasts for chicken taquitos. Taquitos, I'm gonna make those later. And then I got some turkey and some ham for sandwiches for lunch. I got a whole bundle of cilantro and then one green bell pepper for taquitos. And then the red onion is also for taquitos. And then I just got some dairy-free mozzarella that also goes in the taquitos. You know what? I don't think this goes in them. I don't, no, it doesn't. This does not go in the recipe I'm thinking of. I definitely in my head was thinking enchiladas and got this because the this goes in my white chicken enchiladas. Chicken taquitos are completely different, very separate. They don't have cheese in them. I got this one, I suppose, for the next time that I make enchiladas, so. But that's my little grocery haul. Basically, I got stuff for lunch and sandwiches and breakfast and then just one dinner. I think that's it. So that's my grocery haul. I'm going to go ahead and put all this up. <laughs> Guys, it's literally 12 o'clock. I just realized that it was 12 o'clock. I have not showered. I have had kind of a weird morning. I, with this video, I was, in, I was planning on it being like a post-trip gluten-free, dairy-free grocery haul, and it'd be like an eight minute video and be super chill and simple and just be about groceries. And then it kind of turned into a little bit of a vlog, you know, a little bit of us getting back last night and blah, blah, blah. But I hope you like this video. Sorry that this video I feel like is a little bit of a hot mess, but I hope you still enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Like this video, give it a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.